and their automobiles and not for pedestrians? So before you cross the street, shouldn't you make sure that drivers see you and that all cars come to a stop? cross safely, streets carry certain signs and signals with messages for both you and the driver. Some of the signs you see in your city will be changed so that one day signs everywhere will be the same. Some signs are painted on the street. Some have no words at all, like a crosswalk. Do you always cross in a crosswalk or at a corner? You should, because if you cross in the middle of the block, a driver isn't expecting to see you and may not have time to stop. It's safer to cross the street where there is a crosswalk and a traffic signal. But even then, as you are crossing, keep looking for other cars. All drivers must stop. And so must you when the traffic light is yellow or red. Or the signal says, don't walk. A driver doesn't want to hit you, and you can help him not to, by making sure he sees you and can stop. Signs do not stop cars, drivers do. And they sometimes make mistakes, just as you and I do. A driver may not see a stop sign or a red light. So it's up to you to make sure he has stopped before you step off the curb and to keep looking for other cars that may be coming. Signs tell drivers they are coming to a school and should look for pedestrians. Have you noticed that signs have different shapes as well as colors? The stop sign has eight sides and is red. It tells drivers to make a complete stop. This sign warning drivers of pedestrians is yellow and is shaped like a diamond. The new school signs are yellow and have five sides. This sign tells you that you must never cross here. But you can cross here if you push the button and wait for a green light or a walk sign. Sometimes it takes a little while for the light to change, so wait. Here's another warning sign. It tells the driver the road will be slippery when it is raining. Bad weather, such as rain, 
or snow or fog makes driving very difficult. A driver cannot see as well nor stop as easily in bad weather or at night. So you must give the driver more time to see you and stop before you cross the street. Do you know how difficult it is to stop? Cars can't stop immediately, like this. The driver must first see you, put a foot on the brake, slow down, and stop. Just like when you're running. When you run, you can't stop like this. You must first slow down, and then stop. So if a car is coming very fast, shouldn't you wait until he goes by before you cross? You may have the right of way, but cars are bigger than people and can injure them. Sometimes a corner does not have a painted crosswalk. Now you must be very careful that there are no cars coming from any direction. Or that drivers in all cars see you and stop before you cross the street. And remember, keep looking for other cars as you cross. But it is much better to find a corner with a crosswalk and a school guard or a policeman to help make sure it's safe to cross the street. So when you are going to school, coming home, shopping, or just playing, you know now that it's always best to obey the signs and signals. Cross in crosswalks quickly, but don't run. Be sure the drivers see you. And that they stop before you cross. Remember, it's up to you. Watch these children. Some of them are making mistakes. Some of them are not. What are they doing right? talk about it. Are all these children crossing correctly? What do you think? Let's talk about it. safely? How would you cross? Let's talk about it.